Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, November 23rd, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through what things you might want to load first when you're getting started with VisualWorks, and in particular VisualWorks 7.7. I did a screencast like this for the prior release, and that's available on, from October 21st, 2008. However, things have changed a little bit with the new release. I wanted to go through that. So to get started, let's open the Parcel Manager. Now this is not the best way to build a new image every time. I'll show a startup script in a minute. But just to give you an idea of what you might want to load, if you go to Popular, there's a bunch of things you probably want to deal with. Code highlighting, um, searchlight tool is quite useful, tabbed tool sets if you like to have tabs in your browser instead of having the views be there but not really visible. Uh, store for Postgres if you want to be able to connect to the public repository, the GUI builder. SUnit tools, I would load this instead of the RBS unit extensions. This uses the old SUnit. This uses SUnit 2. This is more tightly integrated with VisualWorks and I think is an advance over SUnit, so I'd load that. And then if you go through some of these other categories, you'll see some other things of interest. For, for instance, under Developer Tools, DLLCC, if you're doing any connectivity with C, you probably want that. Um, if you go down to networking, I typically load in the net clients, but that's because I do a lot of network work. If you don't do a lot of network work, maybe you don't need the HTTP, the SMTP, and all the other stuff, but you know, if you do, you need that. Now, you can load each of these one by one. You can just right-click here and do a load and bring that all in, and that works fine. However, there's a somewhat more productive way of doing that, and to show you that, let me go over here. I'll bring in a shell. And this is just a little script I have that starts up this image, and then I can pass it an argument. Minus file in, and I have this file starting load.st. Let's hit return, and you'll see that we've got everything filing in. While that's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that file, and I'm going to show you what's in it. So bringing that back into the view, you see here all it's doing is doing this parcel load parcel from, and this is our environment variable that gives us the root of the VisualWorks directory structure, slash contributed, slash sunitools.pcl, rbtab tool sets, autocomplete, RB code highlighting, net clients, and then from contributed Postgres, store for Postgres. Then I import my repositories, which I've previously exported. I'll show you that in a moment. And then I go ahead and save my image under the name Working 7.7 so that the next time I want to start up a project, I don't have to reload all of these basic tools from scratch, I can just have them in the image. So that's how I do that. Now, the image is just about done, it's saving now. One thing I should show you is how did I get that repositories.xml file? Well, if I right click down here, you notice there's an import repositories and an export. I have the code for import in that script. For export, all I do is right click, select export. And what it did is it brought up a local dialog box and allows me to pick, I will say, repositories.xml. And when I save this, it's going to warn me, I think, that that already exists. But I'll go ahead and say replace, and it'll drop that out. And that way, when I want to start from scratch, I can always just go ahead and do this import repositories here from the command line. That was with a right context click in this area down here. Or I could use the script I used to load that all in. So it's about it for today. Until next time. Have fun with small talk.